Okay, so here we go. We're going to have another example here. Passengers arrive at the check-in desk of an airport, an average rate of seven per minute. Assuming that it follows a Poisson distribution. So I'm going to define my variable, as always, tilde Poisson, and my average is seven per minute. Okay, so I want to find the probability that exactly five will arrive in a given minute. Well, that's simply the probability that x is equal to 5 since it's exactly. And here I just, I could use the formula that exists. And if I think about what the formula is, is this, I can just plug values in. m is 7, little x is 5, times e to the negative 7, divided by 5 factorial. This will work, or I could also go to my, I'll do it, go to my calculator and do second variables, go to my Poisson distribution. I know lambda 7, I try x values 5, and so they end up with 0 0.128 to three significant figures. Going to B part. Probably at least three, at least three arrive in a given minute. So that's the probability that x is less than or, e or greater than or equal to three. Well, my calculator doesn't do greater than or equal to, it does less than. So this is the same thing as saying one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to two. If I throw that in my calculator, that's what I want to throw in, I go, 1 minus distributions, cumulative, and it's going to be from 7 to, and my value will be 0 0.907, oh, 0 0.907. Okay, so moving along now, C part says find the probability that, that more than 30 passengers arrive in a given five minute time. Well, it's seven per minute, and now I'm talking about five minutes. I've changed my mean, or my expectation. So I'm going to define a new variable. I'm going to call it y, and I'm going to say it's a Poisson, and I'm going to increase my interval. If on average it's seven per minute, in five minutes, I should then get 35, five times seven. I'm going to make my Poisson larger, my variable larger here, and multiply it. And so now I want the probability that y more than 30 passengers, y more than 30, bigger than 30, which I know is the same, is equal to 1 minus the probability that y is less than or equal to 30. If I put that in my calculator, 1 minus distributions, this is going to be from 35 and 30. Zero point seven seven three. Continuing along through here. Now I have one final question. Find the probability that 36 passengers arrive in five minutes, given that more than 30 passengers have arrived in total. Well, let's think this one through. That given word is pretty important. Because when I have given, that implies that it's going to be conditional. So I'm looking for the probability that 36 passengers, y equals 36 passengers, given that there are more than 30 passengers that arrive. Well, conditional probability means this is the probability of y in 36 intersection 
with the probability of y being 30 over the probability of y being bigger than 30. Well, conveniently, in part C, we got y bigger than 30. So this, we know y is bigger than 30. But let's think about the top of the fraction. Bigger than 30 intersection with equal to 36. Well, that is the same thing as saying y equals 36 over this. So now I'm just going to use my calculator. I, this is the bottom of the fraction. I'm going to store that into A. Store it in A. And so then I'm going to do my Poisson distribution. A particular distribution is PDF. 35, and I know 36. Paste that, and I'm going to divide it by alpha A. And so my, so my probability of 36 given more than 30 have arrived, 0 0.0846. This is quite challenging. I have to think this one through carefully.